Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my update for the hashtag Partners in Cream 2022 that was set up by myself and the lovely and fantastic and beautiful Dalin. She will be linked up here and she will be linked down below. So go over and say, hey girl, all the information in relation to this project is down below. It's Cream Project Pan. It's rolling and I think today is the refresh day. Um, if people didn't, they can do it the next time. It's not really that strict. I am actually happy with everything I'm working on, so I won't be rolling anything out in terms of the refresh. So let's just get into my update. So I'm working on five products at any given time. You can work on between three and six, but it really, really doesn't matter. I hit goal on, hit goal. Yeah, I finished one product, so that one will be rolling out. Um, and I'm gonna start with that. So that is the Tarte C Hydroflex Serum Foundation in the shade 25N Light Medium Neutral. There's only five mils? Yeah, there's five mils or 0.16 ounce in here. But it actually took me quite a while to finish. I got this from Courtney and I just, I'm obsessed with Courtney, okay? I will link her Instagram down below. This took me, this took me 14 uses in this project to complete. I'd use it four times in January, four times in February, and six times in March to finish it. It is very, very liquidy because it's a serum foundation, but I really, really liked it. I looked it up, it's 39 euros, I think, to buy on the Tarte website, but I really liked this. What I would do is I would put it on my forehead and do my forehead and then my cheeks separately so it wouldn't all run, but it was just this medium coverage so thin as well. I just really, really liked it. I was also surprised with how long it took me because I did use it outside of this project as well. But thank you very much, Courtney, for letting me try this and I really liked it. So that's my empty for today into my progress. So the Tarte foundation went from 11.52, last update 9.88 and now 6.67. So I used 3.21 grams in the last month. Um, to finish and then my next product for progress is the soap and glory melty talented there's 30 grams in here i haven't actually checked what all of the progress actually looks like but i'll put it up on the screen for you but i've used it now a total of 43 times had used it 31 times the last update so it's that 10 12. I've used it 12 times since we've last seen it. I don't know, I find it hard to make myself reach for it because it's so, uh, well, it's just like putting coconut oil on my face, basically. So I don't mind it, but it just takes a while. Will I finish it the next time? I don't know. If I really focus on it, I might be able to. In terms of the weights, I went from 21.54 down to 19.54. So I used two grams of this update, so this will stay in. Hello, Lumpy. The next progress product I have in is my MAC lip liner in the shade Whirl. Whirl. I struggle not to say Whirl, so I said it again. This is a drier lip pencil and I really like it. I had it in my, I had it in my 20 favorites in 2020. I had it in my Partners in Cream 2021 and now it's here in 2022. I've used it 29 times in this project which brings me, I've used it 29 times in this project and 15 times since the last update. I should have a picture here of this up close. I've gone down a good bit. I really, really like this lip liner formula. I personally don't like creamy lip liners. They just, I find they move a bit. And I recently got the, which is the first lip liner I've gotten in a long time. Hello, Lumpy. Hello. She was crying downstairs for me to hurry on because it was rude of me to be up here. But, um, zooly booly. Someone asked me why I call her Zoo, why we, why we call her Zuli. It's Zula. We based it off the avatar Azula because her fur is fiery. Fire Nation, kitty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, I got the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner and it's too creamy. So at least I know now I won't, won't be buying Charlotte Tilbury lip liners again because they're too creamy for my preference. So that's that product. Oh my girl. Yeah. Um, she's on the desk now. Then we have my Urban Decay. <laughs> I'm so, I can't, like, I don't know what it'll be like if I ever have children because I can't actually sit down, put on my makeup and film a video, like, straight without having to get up and go sort some stuff out. Because they just cry all the time. You do, what are you going to do when I go back to work? 
Anyway, this is my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've actually gone down a good bit. In terms of weight, I went from 15.31 down to 14.42. So I only used 0.89, but I had been using this before I rolled it in. I've used it 20 times in this project, 11 in January, oh, sorry, 11 of February and nine in March. Um, I think it's, so that's 20 times since the last update because I only rolled it in. But I think this is grand. Um, if you don't rub it in, it will curdle. So you just have to be really careful about that. It absolutely does help the prolong my eyeshadow wearing. It doesn't like, sometimes it'll curdle out here. So I do have like hit and miss situations where it might like crust out here, but I absolutely have to rub it in straight away. It works. So, and it lasts a long time. So it's good value for money in terms of, you'll certainly get your money's worth. Then another product I rolled in the last time, and this is the, this is the Kosas Cream Blush and Highlighter Duo in Tropic Equinox. There is nine grams in total. I rolled in the highlighter shade the last time, and my goal is to, I think I said finish it. Like, I've used it 19 times. My God, is the lid gonna break? I've used it 19 times now and I've hit pan. I hit pan at six uses. I had used this before, this project, obviously. So it took six times to hit pan, and I've used it a total of 19 times in this last month. So here's where we're at. Kind of want to roll this cream blush into my team project pan at the refresh because I, I want to work, like I don't want this to be finished without this, do you get me? So I might do that. What's your thoughts on that? Would that bother you? Because I am working on this currently in my team project pan. Um, and it is new, it's not like it's an old cream blush, so it would be fine to suppose to do it, but it would be handy to have be working on both of them. I really like this, okay? It's very, very puttyish and sticky, but once I kind of got off that top layer, I, I hadn't been using consistently in a while before this, so the top layer was extremely puttyish, and it still is. However, it's just beautiful. It really is lovely on the skin. I really do enjoy this product, so why not work on the blush as well, you know? But this is only in a month and I'm really, really happy with the use that I've gotten out of it. I've used it every single time pretty much since I rolled it in. I think that's the five products. And then for roll-ins. So, rolling, 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 rolling. Anyway, I had said the last update. If you haven't seen my last update, the playlist is linked down below. But I had said I really, really want to work on a product for, for uses. Because I was working on five to finish. And I said that the next time I finish a product, I would roll in a category for uses. So I'm doing that today. From now on, we'll have one category for uses because this, why is she doing that? Anyway, I'm rolling in this cream blush again. Again, guys, again. This is the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette, which I personally really, really enjoy. And I'm rolling in this deep, dark red shade. The reason why I said it in my last update that I wanted one category for uses is because I want to work on products like this where I wouldn't enjoy wearing it 200 times in a row. I would just need to, I want to work on it and keep rotating in that category. So I'm rolling in this cream brush, the blush. There's not even a dip in it. And I'll put up here how many uses I have in it at this moment in time. But I think I'm around 50 uses. There is not even a dip. I think Danny hit pan on hers in like 120 ish uses. I'm not sure. And I think Paulina said that she used hers more than that and still hasn't got pan, as far as I'm aware. What's wrong, pudding? But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know why I'm doing that. It's stunning. It's just, it's lovely, but it's so offensive. <laughs> it's not something I want to wear every day. So I want to use this 20 times and keep rolling it until we eventually get there one day. I do like it, I like everything in here. I don't like glittery highlighters, but that powder highlighter is actually glittery and yet I like it. So there's that, I don't know why. This palette is beautiful. I want permission to use it for myself and now I have permission. Anyway guys, I this video is gonna be a nightmare to edit because the amount of interruptions I've had. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I currently will be sitting my exams, so I don't know uh, what I'll see until after them.